Hey everyone, welcome back to the kingdom. Damn it. And a car. Until we arrived. All right, I have a plan. This wouldn't be related to Aelin and her friend coming down that road, would it? If you were anyone else, I'd try to stop you. As it is, I'll just wish you good luck. This can't end here. By the gods, it was horrible. He killed them all, and nothing could stop him. It was Dren, the freak who guards the House of Pride. He told us to leave, but we thought we could beat him. He's just one Fey, and not even a Tuatha, but nothing hurt him, and he slaughtered us all. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. What exactly happened here? We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride. But you know how Fey are with their stories. We were going to be the ones who beat him, and opened the path to Alabastra for the army. We were going to be heroes, you know? Then Dren told us to turn around or we'd die. And God help us, we didn't turn around. So you didn't heed him this morning. Alright, I have a plan. That's what we thought too. But if anyone can do it, it'd be you. Okay. Sometimes one soldier can do what an entire army cannot. You haven't tried approaching, have you? No, of course you haven't. You're still alive. This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. So, what is it? Dren had a twin in the summer court. Dith, the defender of valor. They were both entirely immune to each other's power. She faded when the House of Valor fell, but my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... It was... If I... If I catch that right, did you... Did you literally take her soul and put it into an amulet? Now, be fair. They don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And I only got a little of it anyway. Just enough for a certain degree of immunity to so, be power. So, part of her soul? It only works for one person, but it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. Now, go show... Okay, so apparently with the part of some creature's soul, we'll be immune to the other, this uh, other defender's power, but he's immune to our power thanks to that, so... Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, this is ominous. But we got that charm, so it should be good. Question is, maybe we can Turn just talk to... Then you shall die like the others before you. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. Alright. Then let's do... Alright, let's do this. The greatest power in all of history. Talk no jutsu. I know your intentions are to free my people from the Tuatha. You seem an honorable sort. You even bear the blessing of my sister. But I have sworn an oath to defend my house and homeland. I cannot let you in without a fight, and you cannot win against me. If only things could be different. If only the Tuatha were gone and my sister was back. My oath stands. Oh, hey! Wait a minute, if he's immune to my power, what about, uh, Bonesworth? Hey, Bonesworth! Ow! 
Oh, so literally we're just immune. Enough. We could fight each other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. Oh, so we are literally just immune to each other. Uh, let me pass, please. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. So long as our houses stood, the Fey would never pass from this world. I in pride, and she in valor. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. Mortals led to the collapse of my sister's house, but with Gadflo's help, they shall not have mine. He may taint pride with his Prismere and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal. Uh, yeah. Gladflo is my enemy. I cannot yield. But if your true intent is to stop Gadflo, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. Agreed, but you go first. Hmm. That's a 63% chance, so fingers crossed, people. If this is the only way to yeah! a chance for my house's untainted survival, then so be it. If you should win, then destroy the Tuatha in my house and the hateful witch knight Myrna. Then we can be truly free. Okay, so now we have an actual battle. You know, you're not as tough as you were hyped up to be. Oh, and I don't even have my shoot on. Let me get that on. Alrighty. I wonder. I wonder, how much can this do? Hey, boom! Beat him. Yep. Sio Ventrinio would drink. Uh. So I promised to liberate his house. So I thought we were going to have like a duel, but I wasn't going to actually, you know, kill him or anything. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, liberate his house. A promise is a promise, and the Witch Knights of Pride would be powerful allies to have on our side. I'll send a few soldiers along to help. Meanwhile, I'll get the other troops ready to move into Alabastro once that gate opens. Get that gate open. All right, I decided to take all that. With you here, we can't lose. Okay, so I'm guessing that makes it so that the the actual fae in the House of Pride that are not too off though, are on our side instead of having to do us to fight everything ourselves. Okay. Gotcha. So now, I guess that was the right choice. So now all we do is fight the Tuatha and not the actual inhabitants of the House of Pride. Oh, hold on, Bonesworth. Get your butt out of here. Alright, time to storm the gates. Uh, apparently we're supposed to fight some witch knight. Uh. And boop. Oh, never mind. I thought that was an enemy. Never mind. Never mind. You think friendly fire isn't a thing. So is... Wait a minute, I got an idea. Alright, let... Alright, here we are. Fudge. And boom! <laughs> yeah! Still don't know how to dodge all that stuff though. So, boop! Oh crap, I can't shoot past the berry, I can't shoot past it. Never mind. Alright. Cool, cool. I'll always take free money. Alright, now let's see how strong my little thing is against all of this, let's see. Boom! 
Oh, it's, it's just, it's, can we just agree that I can just nuke people now? That's also, I'll, I'll never get tired of doing that. Uh. Alright, on to whoever the boss is in this place. I think it was Mira or, or something. Part. Part. If you would be so kind as to have a word with us. Who are you? Uh, yeah, who are you guy? Who I are you? I have chosen by the remaining members of our house to speak for all. We were most honored by your intention to free us. Where are the rest of you? We are in seclusion, so it's best to observe this situation without any unnecessary interference or risk to ourselves. I assure you, we will be more than happy to assist you in Alabastra. Okay, so what do you want? Simply carry forth and destroy Witch Knight Myrna. Myrna, that was her name. Our house. And her dreadful Prismere Chantry, of course. We are sure you'll have no problem finding her. Or defeating her. We eagerly anticipate your success. Sure thing! Oh, there you go. Yeah, you are kidding. Hmm. You know... If she gives out some good experience... I might be able to. But do I want to do I really want to waste all of my uh Do I really want to waste all of my fate thing just for this boss that's already, you know, almost dead. I think I'll save it for like a group of in-game enemies in Alabaster. Yeah, only only 1288 XP. Yeah, not really worth it. Alright, so now we need to destroy the Prismere Chantry. Chantry, or whatever it's called. This red glowy thing. Oh, hello, Gadflow. How you doing? I'm coming here to, uh... Boop. Oh. Alrighty. So, what's up, Gadflow? Where's one? There's two. Oh wait, hold on Gaflo, I gotta loot you one of your followers. Never mind. They don't have anything I want. Okay. Now we're good. Well Alright, what you got? Child of dust. You've killed the immortal defender and liberated a house full of arrogant backstabbers. I shall thank you for exposing the disloyal amongst my kin. But then I have so much to thank you for. Alright, so is I guess Gadflow's the one who killed me the first time then? I'm still not really sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. The Fae are turning against you. Their betrayal was inevitable. But soon you face the house of vengeance. Their loyalty to Tiernok is absolute. Pure. Instinct. The goddess of mercy awakens. And with every step you take into my homeland, she comes that much closer to walking our world and purging your kind. So, welcome to Alabastra. It shall be the death of you once more. That was not ominous at all. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, with each step we take into Alabastra, Tiranok gets closer and closer to descending upon the mortal realm. Wait, so are we actually- are these Chantry's seals on her and he's just tricking us into freeing her? Is that what- is that what's going on? Because if so, that'd be a cool plot twist. <clears throat> we have seen our champion bested, our advantage lost. And our minds are cleared. Bravo to you, champion. House of Pride in our ineffable wisdom renounces the Tuatha and demands that you accept our immediate surrender.
Wait, demands that you accept our immediate surrender? That's a fun- That's a funny way of surrendering, but okay, whatever. You are literally the House of Pride, whatever. Your army is welcome here. We trust our benevolence will be well remembered should Gadflow be dethroned. We thank you kindly, and our mages have already been assisting your army in their march into Alabastra. We trust you do not object. Uh, no, not at all. We move onwards. Spoken. You have the commanding presence of a young Aegon, who once also bore the pleasure of our august company. Allow us to welcome you to Alabastra. We trust your visit will be eventful. New twist of fate. The Guardian of Pride, the Invincible Trin, fell before your indomitable power. You liberated the House of Pride and opened the path to your final confrontation with Gadflow. Plus seven gold and physical damage. Cool. I will take that money. Okay, so... My guess is that, uh, taking vengeance. So, I guess this way. Okay, yeah, this ain't, this is not ominous at all. Yeah, that was a, dang, that was a huge tone shift, holy cow, I, that got me by surprise there. Uh, what's our plan now? The House of Pride opened its gates and welcomed us as honorary champions. They say it's simple hospitality, but I suspect we have you to thank. You're now, welcome. Part, we can hold Chloricon, even push a little into Alabastra, but we don't have the forces to mount a siege on Gadflow. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Can we trust the House of Pride? Once the House of Pride gives their word, they'll never break it. At least, not what it looks like we're winning. Our real problem is that we can't march the army through Alabastra. Not in formation, at least. This will call for smaller groups. Okay, so what, we can't stop Gadflow Alabastra yet? Alabastra is a maze of valleys. Gadflow's remaining faithful would spot an army moving together. And the valleys would be the death of us. But where an army would fail, the five of us can triumph. If we split up, we can travel faster. And catch them unaware. We will at the House of Vengeance, on Gadflow's doorstep. From there, we strike at Bale, the heart of his empire. Uh, what aren't you telling me? More than you'd think. But I promise I'll explain it all to you. Maybe once Gadflow's dead. I'm not sure I can trust you, Lynn, but okay. I'll see you in Alabastra. Hope you've got better luck this time. Uh, thanks. But, uh, yeah, so we are on our way to Alabastra, the last area for this whole main story. We're gonna go ahead and uh, defeat Gadflow, and, uh, we got even more side quests to do. Cool. Camp Moondown. That's actually a pretty nice name. Alright, so. And I don't think we're going to be off with our final confrontation with Gadflow just yet, so I'll hold off on crafting an updated set of armor, see if I got any better options and whatnot later. But what I will do is I will go on a uh, off-screen, a uh, side quest galore XP run to increase my levels somewhat. But, uh, let's see. Oh, I'll take that. Let's, let's see, uh, hmm. Oh, we're literally going right on the doorstep of Alabastra. Got you, got you, got you. Alrighty, so. Well, I'm not going to bore you with this long walk over there, so as I deal with our unwelcomed uh, guests, I'll see you guys on Gadflow's doorstep. Agarth wanted me to keep an eye on Lady Shear, but you and I need to have a talk first. I've been reviewing my notes of our last trip to Alabastra, and I've come to some startling conclusions about your death. 
and Tearlock. Oh, really? Oh, by the way, as we were traveling to Doorstep, we met up with Lynn and uh, Ventrinio. And apparently, he has some uh, startling uh, conclusions. So, how did I die exactly? I don't know exactly, but it must have been a tremendously powerful source of magic. So powerful that the Well of Souls couldn't help but pick up on it. You were attuned to the well in my lab, but Hugh's well captured your essence. The power in Bale seems to have been the missing element. What's more, I think that power is the source of the Prismere Crystals. Something intelligent and malignant. A creature the Tuatha called Tearlock. Wait, what? What exactly is Tearlock? Something incredibly powerful. I don't know if we even have a name for what she is. Because no one's lived to name it. She's not a god. She's something much, much worse. And judging by the growth of this Prismere, she's very close to coming into our world for good. Oh, okay. Whatever Gadflo's been doing, it's all in order to bring her here. So you've got to stop him before it's too late. With tremendous difficulty. Even so, there weren't as many Tuatha here, and we used magic to keep us hidden. Magic which you provided, in fact. You never did explain where you got those fascinating little artifacts. Okay, there's something going on here. My my character has something going on. There's just... I want this mystery... I just want this mystery to be solved. Like, I hope we get answers to these questions. Like, what the heck is going on? Uh, but uh, are we close... No, 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 we're still very far. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys there. Okay, after that long trek, I think we're finally where we're supposed to be. My goodness, there was a lot of enemies there. And let's go ahead and quickly wipe out these soldiers. And I'll unlock a new move. This. And... Boom. I love that move. It's awesome. I really do like it. It's called Elemental Rage. I unlocked that on a level up. And it looks awesome. I'm gonna be using that a lot more. Far behind you. Oh, hey, Sidan. Neither of us saw any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinu. A scout on the ridge above saw the two Arthur mounting for a counterattack. You should hear what he has to say before we move on. If you'd rather not wait, talk with Agarth. Time is of the essence. Careful. This is worse <laughs> and one second. Let me just, uh,. Oop. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. What the heck? Okay. Why the heck? It, like this one or two offer right here. There we go. Okay, so it was just literally immortal until it got to where it needed to go. Okay, I was wondering, what the heck is going on with this thing? Why was this, like, one random soldier just, like, immortal over here? Uh. Make no mistake. There you Faye are. can feel pain. And we will bring pain to those who have betrayed us. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so I think that's all of them. Let's talk to Agarth. Good to see you here. Ready? Keep your wits about you. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where we take the House of Vengeance and whatnot. So. Question is, is uh, we don't see Lynn or anybody or uh, the other gnome Ventrinio but we do see a Garth here my man but uh hmm we're about ready to storm into Alabastra the, the question is 
is this the last quest? Like, if I accept this, there we go to the end game and we get the last boss and all that stuff, so... Hmm. No, then again, I think I remember we have to take down the House of Vengeance and then Gadflow, I think. Either way, I'm just going to end it right here for now. I'll see you guys when we pick things back up with the Garth and, uh... Maybe Lynn will join us, wherever she's doing. Don't know. The butts, as of right now, there are just so many questions I have. Hopefully when we storm in, we get our answers. Maybe, maybe not. It probably won't be. The most important question probably won't be answered until, like, we're fighting, like, the final, final boss and we get, like, a last-minute reveal. So that's what I'm expecting. But I'm just hoping that when we do fight Gadflow, that his death animation is worth all this hassle. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.